Yeah, it's been great, obviously, to get the opportunity to switch off cricket and um, do something we enjoy. And I know that the four of us, I think Meg's just getting back into golf, um, but a few of us have um, enjoyed golf. So to be able to come down and switch off from cricket and, and have a swing of a golf club has been great. Obviously excited to get back underway on Sunday. I think um, yesterday was a really good hit out. Uh, obviously playing against Cree Victoria slash Ash Gardner, who came out and belted them everywhere, which is obviously good to see. Um, her get some time in the middle but um, yeah it was great to just sort of get back on the park and, and I guess get used to the conditions at Junction and obviously use that in our favour on Thursday but obviously the Kiwis had a really good game last night as well so um, I think both teams will be excited to get back Sunday and um, you know compete for the Rose Bowl. And you expect New Zealand to come in with a bit of confidence coming off that win? Yeah definitely I think um, you know even for, for someone like Lauren Down to come out and make a hundred was obviously a great confidence builder for her um, and I guess some of their players that haven't really had a great chance in the middle order had some really good time in the middle so um, they'll be fully confident no doubt um, obviously we're we're two nil up um, so they can't grab the rose ball but we're rose ball but we're very wary of the side I think they're they're a powerful outfit and hopefully we can keep them pretty quiet for one more game. And how valuable is it for you guys to have had a hit out on junction already? Yeah, well, obviously it's uh, it's slightly different. Every ground that we've played at's been slightly different wicket-wise. So um, for us, we've obviously got a sneaky advantage. It's a home ground for a lot of the players, and for us to have a hit out there yesterday was obviously important for that. But um, we're probably going to get a completely different wicket on Sunday. But to get out there, see the conditions. Obviously, the wind plays a bit of a factor here as well, so um, could be different, but one that we're looking forward to. It looked like you and Rach had a pretty good start the back yesterday too. <laughs> yeah, it was enjoyable. It felt like a bit of WNCL was sort of lining up against the Vicks. Um, for the breakers, so yeah, we had a nice little feel to it, but um, yeah, nice to spend some time together in the middle. We've obviously done it for a long period of time for the breakers, and hopefully, we can put a big opening partnership together in the green and gold. And after such a successful summer, what would it mean to get that last win and finish on a winning note? Yeah, well, I think you, we want to finish off the summer with a win. It would obviously be disappointing to walk away. Obviously, having won the series, but to let that last game slide, I think that's something that we didn't quite finish off in the Ashes a couple of years ago here, so. It's one thing that we've been speaking about a lot as a group and, and sort of finishing off the series well, so that's uh, one of one key for us on Sunday. Yeah, it'd be really nice to um, cap off the summer with, with a big crowd. Obviously, playing on the weekend on a Sunday, it's, it's meant to be beautiful weather as well, so it'd be nice to see a heap of people down there, obviously supporting their local heroes as well. We've got Meg Lanning sitting in there and you know the likes of Georgia Wareham as well, so it'd be nice for them to come down and see them in action and I guess for all of us to, to cap off the summer with a win and hopefully a big crowd.